Welcome in to the last regular season episode of Total Access. It's your boy, Expert. With me always, it's the homie, Farquaad. What's up, my dude? Week 17, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is it. The final week. And still, we got some teams battling for some playoff spots. Not Nothing is locked in in either conference. AFC, NFC got some big games this week. Oh, yeah. Right before we head into the playoffs for the dynasty. Man, it's going to get exciting. Well... Let's start. My boy Farquaad, I see the Bills off. The office is open. You're looking to move some pieces. Like you don't have enough picks already. <laughs> uh, but I see some people are packing their bags, getting ready to leave Buffalo. This just in. Ronald Darby will be leaving Buffalo. If everything goes to plan, he will be packing his bags and leaving Buffalo. Yes. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. But, man, it's your team. You got some things in the works I already know. And you get the Patriots this week. Now, the Patriots coming off a loss, a tough loss. To Flair! That boy Flair! (laughs) Oh, oh my gosh. Tough, tough loss for the big homie. I feel bad for him. Flair played real well, though, from what I hear. Mm -hmm. Some defensive battle. Oh, I wish we could have watched it. But Buffalo coming off a force win versus the Dolphins. Shout, shout out to the Dolphins on a college trip with his kids, man. That's most that's up, big, bro. Big things happen. I, I love seeing that. What a great dad. Great dads. That's another thing. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Most but, up. But definitely, I got to go with Farquad winning week 17 to go into the offseason on a high note. Well, Bro, look, check this out. I, my, 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 I have a slim chance to get in still, if you didn't know. I didn't know. Seeing that the Jets lost to the Jags puts him 7-8. and eight, Puts me at 7-8 and eight with my force win. Huh. It's all, it's funny how the tables turn, because week 17, I've got the Patriots, which I'm going to win this game. And it's up to the homie Ric Flair. It's up to Flair. It's the it's the Jets versus the 49ers week 17. If Flair beats the Jets, huh. Lord Farquad make it into the 2021 playoffs, bro. That's crazy. I'll make it in there. That's I'll make crazy. it in there. So it's a lot riding on this game. But right now, yes, I'm gonna handle my business. I'm okay. up on the Patriots. I'm gonna handle my so business. So step one, Bill's gotta beat the Patriots. Got it. We'll get to that Jets 49ers game here in the end uh, because that's one of them games I wanted to talk about. Okay, next up, it's Hamilton with the Vikings coming off a huge win last week playing versus the defending champion Lions. Now, Mr. They still was a chance last week. That door got shut. No way the Lions can make the playoffs. He's out. He's going to start building for the next year. I know he'll be back next year. I heard he's shopping Spain around because somebody said that the homie was made out of paper mache. Can't, yeah. can't, can't play 16 games. Can't even play 10 games in the dynasty. Mm. But Hamilton is on a roll right now. I'm picking the Vikings to win in week 17 over the Lions. Oh, really? Ooh. Hamilton, man. I'm not even going – Detroit, D- D- Detroit with the dub, man. Detroit with the dub this week. It's going to be a good game. Next up, it's the Dynasty Game of the Week. Ain't no way they can stop me now, Daddy, because I'm on my way. I can feel my ring coming. It's the blood of a champion. I'm on the deep inside my veins. Too much pride to be running. I'm going to get what I can and more. Even if my blood, my sweat, and my tears on me. It's the homie skill trade with those Chiefs going to Carolina with C Rob and the Panthers. Now, C Rob needs this win to get yes, in the does. playoffs. Yes, if he, he wins, he's in. If he loses versus the Chiefs, there's some other teams that can slip up and take his spot in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. This is a big game for C Rob. So you know we're fixing to get focused Carolina Panthers team this week. Okay. But skill trade is always tough. And I know he wants to play spoiler. 
but I just don't see him beating the Panthers at home. I think Carolina gets the win and he sneaks in the playoffs. Ooh. See Rob, see Rob. I, I I pretty much try to vouch for you every week, man, because I I, I I know what you can do. Skill trade, still not sure what's going on in Kansas City, but nevertheless, he's still a, there's you know, two solid users that I think will battle this out just for playoff the, the playoff implications that are on the line. I think they're going to battle it out. Yeah. Um. C Rob got a lot on the line, and he's not forfeiting that spot up easily. So I'm definitely giving it to C Rob. Week 17, he gets no in the doubt. playoffs. No <clears throat> doubt, man. Another big game in Week 17. It's Tone Dog with them Seahawks. Tone Dog going going against my homie there in Chicago with the Bears. Now the Bears got him. He squeaked him a win out last week, and the Good Seahawks game. had a he had a tough game versus Top Garza. But then again, who doesn't? Top mm-hmm. Garza beating everybody. Man, this is a big game because there are seeding implications here. Yes, yes. You, depending on how other games go, you can either finish anywhere from two to number four, and seeding is so important in the Dynasty playoffs. That's how tough the NFC is this year. I'm, Very I'm tough. telling you, you don't want to play the Buccaneers early. You want to play them late. Hopefully he gets an injury here or there because you don't want him healthy going into that championship game. Mm-hmm. With that being said... Who you pick, bro? I'm picking the Bears to finish out the season on a win and beat the Seahawks. Ah, tone dog, bro. That was a tough game. I had to watch, man. I, that was, I mean, it's top guards though. So, um, yeah, you, I'm sure you're gonna take that film and you're gonna adjust and and do your thing and figure out what's going on. I don't see you taking two L's, man. Your last name's not Cool J. Um, I don't see I don't see you taking the L's. I got him winning this game. Tone Dog Seahawks finished the 2021 season with a dub. All righty. I can see it going either way. Next up, it's Matty Ice and those Green Bay Packers. Okay, okay. Versus the Houston Texans. Now, I picked Matty Ice to win last week, and the homie came through for me. Had a big win. Huge win. Yeah, it was huge. Just just dominated on the football field and guess what he's gonna make it two in a row because he's beating the Texans Matty Ice the Texans Texans just came off a pretty good win too against them uh, them Colts mm-hmm. um Matty Ice he's a solid he's one of the OGs in my book too um he's been you know he's been here for for a bit he knows how good you know he, he, he knows how it works um I like this Texans guy also though. I, I say that all the time. He's a good user. This this game this this is a coin toss game as my colleague would like to say. I agree. Um, it's I definitely agree. one of these coin tosses games right here. So with that being said, I'm gonna flip my coin. Has tails, heads. I gotta give it to the Texans this week. Texans Texans with, Texans with the win. All right. Next up, big matchup in the AFC. It's Andy Forrest with those Jaguars going against Darkness and the Bengals. Now Darkness did his thing last week like I predicted, like we both predicted he would do versus a new user who will not be named anymore. <laughs> and he forced coming off a win as well. This is a big game here. Big game. Mm-hmm. And I've got to pick defense. Darkness with the win over the Jags. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a good game. Um, darkness and that defense is superior force and that offense is superior defense normally wins championships but I'm giving the edge to Andy Force this will be a close game I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say 28 24 Jaguars mm. with the win this week mm. be a close game close game I expect to be close two great users next up it's expert with them Dallas Cowboys Going to finish up the season against John and the Eagles. Now, NFC East expert now, champs. That's it. The Cowboys sold up the championship last week with a big win over the Giants. I don't know what happened with Spiro. He made some decisions I ain't never seen him make before. Spiro, you got to pull that punter out every once in a while. Utilize him. You're paying him yeah. over a million dollars. Punt the football. <laughs> but I'm glad he didn't. I got the win. Take the NFC East. If the Cowboys win this game, we sew up the number two seed. We won't see the Buccaneers and top guards until the championship. 
So you know I'm going with the Cowboys to beat the Eagles. Okay. I ain't got to spend too much time on this. I, no I, doubt. The, the homie the homie taking this, man. Cowboys with the win this week. Nice. All right. Next up, it's the Dolphins. Hopefully he gets back in time to play this game versus the Colts. Now, both of these teams had a rough year. This is the coin flip for me, but I cannot roll with Bush and the Colts. I got to go with the Dolphins with the win. I'm definitely going with the homie down there in Miami, man. Shout out Mo Booker. He's going to make some noise these next couple seasons, man. He's got some pieces that he's about to line up. Um, and he's and he's, he's a good user. Not really sure what's going on with my man Big Bush, man. Um, mm. But I got to go with my division on this one, man. Let's finish strong. And AFC East has finished strong. Miami with the win. Next up. It's our best friend. It's Chris Murray and the Raiders. Man, feel I feel bad for Chris Murray. He had a rough year. Yeah, he did. And he got the hot tub in the Broncos to finish. Nah, never a good way to finish. Hot tub in the Broncos with an easy win. You know what? It's week 17. Mm-hmm. Why not? Chris Murray's a good user. Yeah, I he feel is. Like this may be a trap game. It's and not. The Broncos is smart. He will. I'm not even gonna give out the chicken. He's a smart user. I'm not right. gonna give out the chicken yeah, like that. It's true. It's true. I'm, Ra- Raiders going. He he he's got something to play for. His balls right now. He. I think. Mm. I think he may pull out the dub, man. It's my upset mm. of the week, man. Upset Raiders, of the week. Chris Murray over the Broncos, bro. I'm not. Upset I'm not feeding. I'm, week. Not, I'm, not, I'm uh... not feeding Denver anymore. I'm not feeding him anymore. Okay. He listens okay. to the show. He listens to the show, and he <laughs> just embarrasses people. No, not the Chris Murray. With the close win, go watch that tape. Go watch that tape again in that Atlanta game, Atlanta Denver game. Watch that tape and make your adjustments. Oakland you know the, the win. You know, Hot Tub put up seventy five points last week. My Sorry. God, man! I said 60, 65 and he hits me. Up, yo, he hits me up after the game. He hits me up in my DM. Was like, I listened to the show. I had to go over and beyond for you, Lord. I was like, man, I said three hundred something yards, five touchdowns. And he did more than that. What's he did, dude. He what? did like four hundred plus with five I touchdowns. Said, man, that's disrespectful, uh, man. Here is my one question on that game. At some point, San Diego, do you not double team McMichael? Uh, right. <laughs> do you not roll the coverage over there to him and realize he's throwing the ball to that big guy over there? He, he coaching like Chip Kelly down there, man. No adjustments. Uh, do the no same adjustments thing over and over again. Uh, all right, next up, it's another big game in the NFC. It's the homie H Town with the Rams going against SJ and the Cardinals. Now, playoff implications in this one as well, because if the Seahawks find a way to lose, or the Panthers, I'm sorry, the Panthers find a way to lose, and the Rams win, he can get in. So you okay. know H Town is going to be focused. Big game for him this week. And I'm picking him to be SJ and the Cardinals to finish out strong. SJ, I'm, I'm zoning with the win this week. SJ and them Cardinals finish off the season. Wow, SJ with the win coming from yes, Farquad. Yes, sir. All right. Next up, it's another NFC East game. It's the Redskins with underrated going against Z Spiro and the Giants. Now, Z Spiro coming off a tough loss, mm-hmm. a game he could have won. And he's going to take it out on the Redskins. Big win I, for the Giants this week. I definitely see the same thing. Shouts out to my man Spiro. Um, that unorthodox play calling when it comes to third and fourth down. Uh, I feel like that's what's kept him out of several possible conference championships, maybe even Super Bowls. Um, mm. Is that unorthodox play calling? He, you know, it gets it gets it done during the season. When it comes playoff time, you know it's it comes back to bite him in the butt, or just pivotal, just pivotal moments in games that play calling comes back to bite him in the butt. I agree. And if if he, if he you know shapes up his play calling, I could see him. I, I mean, even when he was on my show, love hate, I, I said I'm rooting for you to make them playoffs, and I'm rooting for you. I can see you in the bowl, man. No so, doubt. You know, I, 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 pretty much with that being said, I'm giving it to Spiro to finish out this season strong, going to the playoffs and make some noise, man. No Spiro doubt. With Easy one for us to call. Next up, it's the homie Dion with the Falcons going against Top Garza. Not a game you want to end the season with because you know Top Garza wants to go in on a hot streak. Mm-hmm. If he wins this game, that's 15-game win streak. Mm. A lot of that's hard. 
that's hard to do. That's a lot of in the dynasty. Yes, it is. And he's coming off a big win versus the Seahawks, where his defense played really, really well. And he's going to get the Falcons when the Falcons are down. Top guards will win a win this week. Week 17. Nice little divisional matchup right here. I like these two teams. I like these two users. Big shout out to Dion. No doubt. Um, um, for making some new, you know, new rule changes in the league. Big yeah. b- big ups, man. That major implications going on there. Um, that major moves were just made. Um, big shout out to Dion being the, 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 the world's best commissioner. Um, Hands down. With, with, with that being said, Top Garza, maybe he rests his players. Maybe he doesn't. Dion, maybe he's just gonna just ready to get this season over with. Maybe he's gonna come out focused like he was against the Broncos, which I didn't have him. I didn't think he was gonna do. Um, but a focus Dion is a beast, Dion. Mm-hmm. Um, with that being said, top guards are with the win this week. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Next up, it's the Saints and Soul Assassin going against the Chargers. Now, the Chargers is coming off a tough week, giving up 75 points. <laughs> That's got to hurt. That really has to hurt. But we both know he's a better user than that. But he gets the Saints this week. Oh, this was a tough one for me to call, too. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Oh, I really... You know how I like Tazzarelli. You know oh, most do. of. That's the homie. I'm going to pick Tazzarelli. Win in week 17 against the Chargers. Okay. Tazzarelli, man. Shouts out to you, bro. Um, Shouts out to my man Breezy out there in San Diego. Tough week. I feel like he's going to finish this off strong. Just really not sure what's going on, man. What's going cool. I think he's just having a frustrated second half of this season I down agree. there in um, New Orleans, and it's definitely showed. Um, he's a much better user than that record indicates. Um, uh, this, you know, Breezy, he, that's, that's definitely the homie. I got major respect for that guy. He's a good user. Um, he'll be around for a bit. He's a very good user. I feel like he's going to end the season, 20, 2021 season, on a good note. Um, San Diego with the win. It's a toss up. All right. Next up, a game that means a lot to Farquad. Yes! It's it's sunshine. It's Sim game. The last man he can butters. Nicknamed himself with the Jets going against El Guapo and the 49ers. Now. Oh. Now. You know I love sunshine. Like one of my favorite users in this league. Hands down one of my favorite users. We love chopping it up together. But because I want my boys Farquad to get in the playoffs, so Total Access has two users in the playoffs, I got to go with the 49ers. So El Guapo, I need you to stop all the nonsense this week. Ultra, super focused. Come out, play your game like you played last week and get you a W so Farquad can get in the playoffs. But with that being said, I know the Jets not going to be an easy win, but I got to pick the 49ers this week. Is this a home or away game for um, San Diego? I mean, for um, San Fran. Do you so know? San Francisco is at home versus okay. the Jets. Okay, okay. And then I like it. I like the chances even better then, because Madden and that home cooking in Madden is outrageous. In the it means a lot. It means it's, a lot. It's crazy um, how the ball bounces your favorite home. But that being said, Flair, I I bash you each and every show and go against you, and now I'm recanting on my statement, my previous statements. Bro, I need you to win this game so I can make the playoffs for the first season this freaking Madden for the first time. I I, I need it. I got cheated. It's, it's mm. pretty much the same scenario I was in last last season. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. And I'm looking at the same scenario this season. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. And, it, and, and it's in Flair's hands. Flair, bro, I need you focused. I need you to win this game. Make it happen, bro. I've got faith in you this week. Not any other week, but this week. You're coming off a good win against the NFC. I mean, against my division, against the Patriots. You got momentum going into this next game. In this mm-hmm. season off strong, bro. In the season off strong. Please do it for me. Please. Because I'm going to handle the Patriots. Win this game so I can get into the playoffs. And, and scare some people because a focused Buffalo Bills team is a dangerous Buffalo Bills team. So let me get in the air and I'll make some noise. Point blank period. San Francisco 49ers with a huge win this week. 
Mm. Man, fired up Farquad. He needs a win from the Niners this week. Never thought we'd hear that. Hell, all right. Next up, it's the two newbies. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers with HB going against Waffle Man himself with the Ravens. Mm. Both these teams coming off of L's. Now, you know, we love dogging the new users. Mm-hmm. Especially those that come in here and run their mouth. Absolutely. Because we know how the dynasty is. Oh, and yeah. People that run their mouth usually aren't very good. Well, we, we've they, seen it this year. We've seen it this season. Talk, also. talk a lot. So let me just get my pick out first. Steelers with the win this week. Steelers okay. with a win this week. Now, there are a couple things in life where I will let brush off my shoulder. You can talk about me all you want, about my stick skills, what I look like. All of that stuff is, is all part of that. Yeah, but man, you you run your mouth about what kind of dad that I am. Uh huh. You you gonna see a whole different side of expert. I got Definitely. three beautiful children, mm-hmm. from eighteen all the way down to nine. Beautiful kids, very successful kids. My oldest kid full ride scholarship to go to school. Big up. My bro. middle my middle son is a huge basketball player. And did he just came off a win versus somebody? Who did he beat today? <laughs> he did beat somebody stuff. today. <laughs> So, oh, with that being said, because I don't want to hold up total access for one user, stuff, but bro. you do you. Keep my name out your mouth. Uh, when you want a rematch versus my son, you let me know because he'll tell you he'll play you anytime. But the Steelers get the win over the Ravens. Yeah, I see the. Um, I, 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 I'm not even going to speak on that, man, because I'm not going to get fired up. Um, you're a good dude. I'm one of the best dudes in this league, so for someone to speak on your character like that, that was um, definitely a low blow. So hopefully you won't ever have to just keep it friendly, keep it friendly trash talk. Um, no doubt, we're good to go there, guys. Keep it friendly trash talk. No doubt, talk, man. No, no, nobody needs to hit below the belt like that. Um, but I'm going with the um, Pittsburgh Steelers with the win this week, also, man. Um, to end 21, 2021 season off with a win, Pittsburgh. No doubt, I'm excited to see what the Steelers user going to do with that team. Oh yeah, I, th- I think he got some things working, but I think the Ravens could be a good user too. Oh, without a doubt, he he's too. got some no pieces. Doubt. No doubt. I hope both of these guys stay in the dynasty because if y'all can help this league get to that next level, man, I'm all yeah. for it. Absolutely, for it. main goal. With that being said, we got one more game, and it's a okay. big game in the AFC. Okay, eight speed and them Titans. Okay, going against King Vitamin and those Cleveland Browns. Now, be a damn good game right here. I'm telling you, damn the Browns. Browns coming off a big win, forty to seventeen versus the Ravens. Mm-hmm. You know how the Titans played against mm-hmm. the Colts. Both of these teams want to end this year on a high note going into the playoffs because both of them are in the playoffs. Oh yeah. But which one gets the win in Week Seventeen? Now, we know King Vitamin. King Vitamin can play both sides of the football. But the Titans' run game is just dirty. It's it's just filthy. And if the Titans win this game, he moves up a slot in the AFC. So it's a big game for him. With that being said, I got to go with King Vitamin. I just think when he goes, when he sees the playoffs coming, he's a different user. Oh, yeah. So I think King Vitamin gets a close win, but he gets a win versus the Titans. This is going to be a damn good game. I'm definitely going to be tuned in for this one. Um, these two users have a very similar playing style, which is good. Um, which is very, very good, actually. They're both very, very good users. I, the Titans continue to surge up my board as one of the as, as solidified top users in this league. He's definitely right no on doubt. my board. We're Abs- going to see what he's going to do in these playoffs. With, with, depending, on what he does in, depending on what he does in the playoffs, um, I'll, I'll definitely move him in my top ten users for sure. I like I like the way this guy plays. He plays he plays some good football, damn good football. Um, but it's I'm not going against the homie top vitamin at all. Not going against that homie man. He's he's tough, and he's got a damn good team. He's got a yeah. hell of a receiving core, and with that and that running game, I'm going with them Cleveland Browns with the win. Hey, that's week seventeen for us. But don't worry, because we will have total access for the playoffs. Yes, sir. You, you know we will be deep in those games. It's going to be a good about time. each user. I certainly hope the Bills will be in that discussion. I'm hoping so I so need too, the 49ers bro. to be focused, get you a let's, win this week. Let's go, Guapo. 
Let's go, Guapo. Hey, those are our picks. Don't take it personal. Prove us right, prove us wrong. It's Total Access. It's your boy, Expert. And you know I got Farquaad with me. My guy. We out.